Check that beautiful view. By a foreigner here, and I love the Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Alex. My name is Tom. And today I'm here in beautiful Malaysia. I can't believe I finally made it here. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh yeah, exactly behind us. Check that beautiful view. This is actually in Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys some things around Georgetown, Penang. So if this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Oh, if you wanna see a specific video right here, hit the bell notification for future videos. Yeah. But let's go ahead and find out all about Malaysia because I've never been here. Yeah. I feel like a brand new baby. <laughs> yeah, like I'm so excited because I can't believe that Malaysia have the coded place like this. That's why we Yeah, that's why we're actually in jackets. Since I left Canada, I wasn't expecting to be anywhere that requires me a jacket. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's 19 degrees now. <laughs> wow, let's go ahead and check out Malaysia for the first time. Let's go! First of all, we gotta get some coffee. It's early morning. We found this really, really nice cafe called, what is it called? Condo 65. Condo 65. We'll show you what I mean. I've been here before and this is the best bakery so far I've come across. So French cuisine or French bakers better watch out because Malaysia knows how to make some desserts. And the coffee is actually pretty strong. All this came to about 33 ringgit. Not very cheap but also not very expensive for the quality. We got excellent desserts, excellent coffee, nice and strong. And I love coming here to get my day started. <laughs> And that was our breakfast, our morning coffee and dessert. I love that place. And here's a tip for you guys to be coming to Malaysia, at least from our experience so far, yeah. is that the things here don't always open and close as Google suggests, right? So people here love to basically go at their own time. If they're feeling good, they open the restaurant or the yeah. business. If they don't, they don't. So go ahead and make some Malaysian friends and walk around, talk to them, get yeah. an idea exactly how they work around here, right? So yeah. one of my favorite things, hey, <laughs> one of my favorite things about uh, Penang, Georgetown, Malaysia, is you don't really know where you are. Like if somebody dropped you off in the middle of the street, they'd have no idea which country you're in because I see a lot of different like things you know you can see a lot of indian influence the the architecture is very different it's got like chinese portuguese different styles different languages and people themselves look like they're from anywhere in the world right you yeah can see sri lanka uh or they look indian just, asian all kinds yeah. of ways just like from what i know here is the country that have a lot of multicultural here okay. It's just like for example that yesterday we went to have like burger mm -hmm. and we talked to him. He is like um the server or like Oh yeah. There. So there's, there's a guy across from our hotel. He's actually half Thai apparently. Yeah, right? that's so, so surprised half Thai, me. Half Malaysian. He can speak Thai in friend, like um friendly. Fluently, yeah. So that's something I really enjoy about this and English seems to be very common here, right? People everybody seems to at least know English and one or two other languages. Some things we noticed. Yeah. Um, we just like in the grab yesterday, he yep. can talk like four languages <laughs> the guy can speak four languages anyway let's show you some stuff around this area and we'll continue uh, on our day here in Malaysia I think this is the most popular graffiti street art here in Georgetown as the, you can see the two kids on a bicycle apparently it was um, painted by a foreigner but you can see this on all, a lot of bags and souvenirs and many people come here to take some photos and you can find stuff like this all over town here I'll show you what I mean check it out for example this bag here has the same painting that you can see and magnet and magnets as well yeah so if you're coming here it's a must visit place because this place is so multicultural you can even find some Turkish delight some Turkish dessert if you guys watch my Turkish series you'll know that I love Turkish dessert hello and this place is one of the best places that we've seen that actually offers delicious Turkish dessert. We tried the kanefe the other day and it was super delicious, right? Yes, I love it. <laughs> I love it too. One more thing about diversity here and multiculturalism. It's not just um, people, it's also religion. Because I've seen like Hindu temples, Chinese temples, Thai temples, yeah. all kinds of different worship mosques, of course, a lot of uh, uh, Muslim population here in Malaysia. And if you're coming here at Georgetown Art Street here, they have this really cool Vietnamese coffee stall here. And I love the traditional outfits. And the coffee is super strong. So if you guys want to try some strong coffee, be sure to check this one out. Trust me, you won't miss it. It's right here uh, in front of Momokaka, whatever that is. <laughs> All right. Some costs I've noticed actually, Uber or Grab costs are extremely low, right? So transportation here seems to be very, very cheap. 
And especially crab. Yeah, especially crab. And I noticed you could get a huge plate of food actually for very, very cheap. Uh, speaking of food, we've had breakfast. We've seen a little bit um, of this artistic street mm -hmm. here. Uh, what do you say we grab some food, some lunch, and show some people what Malaysian food looks like, okay? All right, let's go get some food. Look at these umbrellas. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I was at one more thing. It's just like the cost of living here is kind of like expensive. Yeah, you thought. know, I agree. I, I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought Malaysia, I just assumed, would be cheaper than Thailand. But mm -hmm. so far, it feels like uh, that Malaysia, at least Penang, Georgetown, seems mm -hmm. to be a bit more expensive. It's just like, but I think it's just like the guy yesterday told us, but it's expensive just around this area of right? course yeah exactly depends which area you're in if you're malaysian please let us know in the comment section are we like just in the wrong place is malaysia cheap expensive i'd love to know yeah. from some malaysian friends let's go get some food uh, we're just walking thank you We're gonna stop behind us at the restaurant Hamidia. Check how big this lineup is. We're gonna go in there and have some lunch. Now we're in the halfway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to see more details about the food here in Malaysia, be sure to hit the bell notification. You guys don't miss out our full on food tour of Malaysia. One more thing we love about Georgetown, Penang here in Malaysia is the footpath, the walkways, the sidewalks. You have a lot of space to walk. You don't feel yeah. like you're going to get hit by a car. And also, I love the architecture because they have these like arches in front of every building. So you can walk right through it and feel safe, protected. Plus, it feels really nice, right? And I think the thing that makes this house really beautiful because we barely see the wire. Right? Yeah. That's why it looks more clean and modern and always beautiful. Yeah, you're right. You know, I noticed that unlike uh, Thailand, for example, yeah. there's no like, you know, wires, no electrical wires. You don't see any of that. So you get to really see the beautiful architecture mm -hmm. and the beauty of this place. One more thing is the weather. I noticed it being very humid here. It's a lot hotter than Thailand for me. Yeah. So maybe because we're close to the equator or something. Yeah. Like, um, it's just like since we came here, it's rain every day. It's yeah. not that long, but it's just every day. Yes, yeah, it's been raining quite often every day, but that just comes with an island like this. That was it for our video today. I'm very excited to be here. Palm, what are you excited about Malaysia for? Um, I'm excited for Milo because like someone said, yeah. I thought you were talking about my dog. My dog's name is Milo. I'm like, where is he at? What are you most excited about here in uh, Malaysia? I'm excited for the food here because like what food we try here, right? They say mm -hmm. like it's Penang food, so I want to know what Kuala Lumpur food look like. Oh yeah, right guys, so we're going to be going to Kuala Lumpur, we're going to have many food videos, we got surprises, all these different things, so if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, you don't miss any videos coming up. Anyways guys, <laughs> behind us actually is a very popular, famous uh, graffiti street art. If you guys are here, you can't miss that place. It's uh, so huge. It's huge. So let us know what we missed today. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think of Malaysia, Penang, Georgetown. I'm mm -hmm. so excited to check this place out, share exactly. everything with you guys. We got food tours coming, like places to see, surprises, all those things. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you. Bye.